Hello friends, welcome back to CCSP Certified Channel. Today we are going to cover a very important topic. How USA do business with Europe without a privacy law. And uh, it is very important not only for CCSP, for CICSP also. At least I have seen one question from uh, this topic in both CCSP and CICSP exam. In my exam also, in my candidate exams also. I just quickly uh, do a quick uh, uh, discussion about my mission and the topics I have covered for the new audience. Apologies if you are already a uh, follower of subscriber of my channel. It might be repeating for you. So this is topic 5 going on. If you are new, I would like to inform that I already covered 4 topics. And before this, in over 70% syllabus is already covered. This is topic 5 going on important laws and standards this is lecture 9 of the same and uh, i have covered gdpr usa laws prior to this i suggest better to watch them quickly i discuss the my focus in this video series around one and a half year before when i clear my exam i decided to prepare this free video series my my intention is to cover high probability exam topics difficult exam concepts and cover questions from the various sources. One of the important source of my teaching is my candidate feedback because I do conduct classroom teachings also and I refer CCSP question bank and simple question banks to collect the questions in this video series. Through the point discussion is the need of the time. Also, I will try to use my 15 years of IT experience and CCSP, CISSP and other cloud certifications to make things simple and easy for you. My goal is to help you get further faster in the CCSP exam certificate. Though the teaching I am doing here, it is equally important for CISSP and other IC score exam, but my video focus is primarily CCSP only. Many candidates ask me in past also, is the YouTube study sufficient? It is free and sufficient definitely. But in case you want comprehensive and effective approach that has worked for me and my candidate, you may join any of my regular page or purchase sale price recording at the nominal rate. You can write me for the same. The next page information I'm covering quickly. Next next page I'm covering for CCISP, CICSP certificate. That is 40 hours uh, in a, uh, average. A weekend page is starting from 7 January onward. It may go till 12 February afternoon time 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. IST on Saturday Sunday. So if you are interested, write me at the CCSP certified at the gmail.com or WhatsApp me on this number plus 91-837-008-1064. So I quickly cover topic of the day, which is how Europe and USA do the business. You have already seen this meme because uh, we have seen that GDPR has imposed high restriction on the USA companies, especially Facebook. And uh, we'll see because USA does not have any specific constitutional provision guarantee for privacy. And uh, GDPR in Europe imposes restrictions on conducting business with countries that has lack of the privacy issues, how the business run. So there are three agreement, safer, uh, safe harbor agreement, privacy shield and one more concept prism project we'll see so these three important concepts uh, associated with the, this exam and this topic we'll cover them now first is safe harbor is very long uh, way before in 1998 or 2000 a agreement is signed between european union and us and at the time gdpr was not in picture at the time only eu directives on the data protection was existing and in 2018, GDPR replaced that EU directive that we have covered during the GDPR. So as per this one, the data processor was responsible. So GDPR and new laws make a data owner or controller to be responsible. But at that time, data processor was uh, responsible uh, and there was a seven principles that need to be self-certified to the do, uh, do, doc, Department of the Commerce, DTC that is part of federal trade commission so there should be a self-certified compliance need to be submitted by data processor again in this again is this safe harbor agreement that they are following the privacy principles defined 
in this agreement so it it remained there till uh, new conditions or new situation changed so quickly we see how the us how any entity located outside the eu can do the business with the european union so they are under gdpr there are three ways a company which is outside of european union can do the business first is whether they have own nationwide laws that complies with the eu laws so usa does not have privacy laws so first condition is not meet with them second is the country will voluntarily subscribe to own nation's privacy shield program so what is privacy shield program we'll see but after safe harbor us and europe subscribe to privacy shield program and then they started business there is th third way also in this the entity create a contractual language that complies with the eu laws and that has language approved by the each european country for which the entity wishes to get the citizen data so out of 28 or 31 european countries let's say the company want to do business with the three countries which is outside the european union then the contract language must be supported and approved by the those european countries so important point is gdpr requires that multinational using extender contracts clause options like third option the clause should be approved by the privacy office in every european member state whether the company will operate so we'll come to third point later but we'll see that after safe harbor privacy shield is being signed between europe and us and what is this shield all about so this agreement was negotiated with obama administration and adopted by european union commission in 2016 so there are seven principles it has which is not important to remember but quickly we'll cover them because they are part of the syllabus there should be a notice participants must notify an individual about how the entity process their information there should be choice given to the participant to opt out there should be accountability for the onward transfer in case the data get transferred to the third party for any analysis that uh, collector or the one who collect the data is responsible there should be secure proper security mechanisms for unauthorized laws misuse access disclose apart from this there should be integrity and the purpose limit data should not be modified it should remain in the form it was being collected and there should be purpose it is being used for if it is in use for Aadhaar let's say let's say Aadhaar card is being taken for the issuing the SIM the purpose should be limited to the SIM issuing the SIM not to take on the loan or any other purpose they should be access individual should have a access to the data and should have ability to correct it or amend it or delete it and they should be uh, resource enforcement and liabilities uh, associated with the data so this is privacy shield principle every country who want to do business with europe does not have any privacy law can go with the privacy shield program and can do the business same like us did in 2016 but there was a prisma project you might have heard it not very important uh, to remember but uh, just to see how it is and how it impacted so Prisma is a code name for program under which united nation state national security now nsa collect internet communication from various u.s internet companies this program is also known by sigad us 984xn this is a code word given to this program and the edward snowden publicly revealed the existence of Prisma through a series of classified document leaked to journalists to the washington post and the guardian and that was a big news in the market and that is spoiled the us european relationship and that also was the reason to end the privacy shield and uh, uh, just to update that ccsp still say that privacy shield that ccsp content because it's not revised so far so in the exam if the ccsp asked which is the way us do the business with europe we have to give the answer privacy shield but ciassp it is being updated and it is mentioned that ci the privacy shield is no more active and the contract clause is the way to do business between us and europe 
so do check this before giving the answer in the exam now we quickly see the type of questions you can expect from this topic the first one which of the following countries does not have a federal privacy law that comply with the European Union GDPR regulation that we have seen also even though we don't know whether the Canada has a law Switzerland has a law Japan has a law we know USA does not have a law so if this such question comes you undoubtedly select the USA and move away so the option is USA does not because USA does not have any federal privacy law they do they do have some other laws to handle the privacy that we have already covered but uh, it does not comply with the European United U Union GDPR guidelines the next one in the United States who manage the privacy shield program for voluntarily compliance with the European Union EU data privacy laws so we have seen that in the safe harbor case also the same department we have seen that in the US who manage this privacy shield program so it is Department of Commerce that we have seen that in case of the safe harbor agreement who handle this um, uh, this uh, any uh, voluntary uh, compliance with the European Union laws or not we have seen the self side self signed compliance is required in the DT department department of the commerce the privacy shield program is there are four options voluntary for non-European Union entities mandatory for all European entities mandatory for all non-European entities and voluntary for all European entities so we have seen this privacy shield program is for non-European members and why it is if they want to do the business there are three options either they can enact a law or they can go with the privacy shield or they can go with the contract so it is a voluntary option for the non-European countries if they want to do business with the Europe so option will be here next one which if which of the following is not a way in which an entity located outside the European Union can be allowed to gather and process privacy data belong to European citizens so this type of questions do come in exam and we have seen this there are three conditions and uh, they confuse you with the option like we'll see, read here we have seen these three conditions this first condition is if the uh, be located in the country with the national white laws if we have any national white laws then you can do the business that's correct if you join the privacy shield program that's also correct if you create the contract language that compliance with the EU laws also correct option B which say that if you appeal to the European Union High Court for permission this is incorrect though it looks uh, logically correct it might be possible that you go to high court and ask for the permission but no such case available in the GDPR that's why don't get confused whatever we have covered those only are the conditions to be part of the European Union program the last one in this one is the good question from the uh, similar question I have seen in one of my candidate exam so small changes done in this one so if you are the security manager for US based company that has a branches abroad including office in Germany Italy or Brazil if the company want to process the European Union citizen PI data one of the following options is used as a standard clause so we have seen this there are three ways one is the national wide laws standard clause and last one was the privacy shield if we go with the sec option like standard clause then the uh, then if you choose that option you comply your company will have to get the approval from who should approve it so we have seen this we quickly do go to the uh, concept quickly one more time because this type of questions comes so then entity create a contract language then it must be approved by each European Union country from which the entity wishes to get the institution data so here at least you should be aware what are the European countries what are the non european US countries there here in these options we have a Germany which is a European country Italy which is a European country but Brazil is not a European country it is a South American countries so any options that's containing Brazil is out, already out of the option so option B is removed option D is removed 
we have option A and B. So option is half cooked. Option C is the correct one, which can, can contain both Italy and Germany because both are the European countries. So that's for today. Uh, if you like this video, I do request to subscribe my channel and write me for the feedback at the CCSP certified gmail.com or WhatsApp me on this number. Thank you for watching this video.